Hello and welcome with another video in which we will discuss about amino sugars, glycosides and derived acids and alcohol of carbohydrates. So first of all amino sugar, amino sugar is, can be obtained when one or more hydroxyl group or OH group um, of the monosaccharides are replaced by an amino group. So when amino group replace one or more OH group of the monosaccharides, it results into amino sugars. Amino sugars occurs as a component of glycolipids. Glycolipids when lipids and carbohydrates combine. Glycoproteins when carbohydrates and protein combine. And in the chitin of arthropods, it is a chitin is present in the exoskeleton of arthropods. For example, D-glucosamine. Also certain antibiotics, for example, erythromycin have amino sugars, which helps in its function that it uh, help in its antibiotic activity. You can see in figure one, the structure of D-glucosamine, and you can see it is a pyranose sugar, which means this is the chemical name of it, two amino, d glucopyranose alpha form two amino which means that at carbon two an amino group is present in h2 group so this is carbon one this is carbon two this is carbon three this is carbon four this is carbon five so the the, the ring structure is pyranose because it contains five carbon and it is uh, has a hexose sticker this is carbon number six and this is d glucose because the oh group at carbon number five is present on at the right side. And also it is alpha form because at carbon one, the OH group is present on the lower side. So this is glucose, D-glucosamine, and you can see at carbon two, and the OH group is replaced by an amino group. So this is an example of amino sugar. Next, we will talk about sugar alcohols, which is also known as aldetols. Sugar alcohols are formed by the reduction, which means that gain of hydrogen. So when a compound goes reduction process, it gains hydrogen. So sugar alcohols are formed by the reduction of a monosaccharides. So a typical monosaccharide will be reduced. Uh, uh, there may be either aldoses or ketoses, the monosaccharide, which means that these monosaccharides either contain aldehyde functional group or ketone functional group. Our sugar alcohols can be defined as those compounds which obtained from sugars, so they will be obtained from sugars, and that contains one OH group attached to each carbon atom. And also they are used in food industry as a thickener. Thickener is a substance which increases viscosity of a liquid so it make a liquid viscous and as a sweetener in food industry so there are those compounds sugar alcohols are those compounds which are obtained from um, sugars and that contain OH group attached to each carbon atoms for example sorbitol are formed from glucose and mannitol are from uh, uh, formed from mannose and these are used as a sweetening agent in food industry. These are very important examples, sorbitol and mannitol. Both are obtained from sugar, glucose, and mannose. Next one is ribitol is a constituent of flavin coenzyme. Flavin coenzyme is an important coenzyme which act, as, act in many metabolic processes. Also, Glycerol is another, glycerol and myoanisotol. These are also sugar alcohols and these are components of lipids. So glycerol and myoanisotol are components of lipids. In figure two, glycerol and myoanisotol is given. And you can see here, this is carbon one, this is carbon two, this is carbon three. And you can see both these three carbons contain OH group. So this is a sugar alcohol. Myoanisotol, you can see here, this is, this is a six carbon uh, compound. 
so you can see every carbon carbon one the uh, carbon two carbon three carbon four carbon five carbon six so each carbon contain an oh group and the aldehyde group which was present at carbon one and carbon five due to reduction process uh, it change and an oh group is attached to each carbon now so next one is sugar acids sugar acids are formed by the oxidation oxidation is the reverse of reduction here loss of hydrogen atom occur up an aldehyde or primary alcohol group in the monosaccharides which results in the formation of sugar acids so here the sugar acids can be formed when the oxidation of aldehyde or primary alcohol group in monosaccharides occurs for example the gluconic acid results from the oxidation of c1 carbon 1 which contain aldehyde group of glucose and glucuronic acid results when the carbon 6 which is also known as the primary alcohol group is oxidized so both gluconic and glucuronic acid occurs uh, when the oxidation of carbon 1 and carbon 6 occurs in glucose molecule so figure 3 you can see here this is a typical glucose molecule which undergo the process of oxidation and results into sugars alcohol so first one is d-gluconic acid and d-gluconic acid we discussed that the carbon 1 undergo the process of oxidation so it results into a sugar acid you can see the aldehyde group is converted into an acid and d-glucuronic acid you can see here the primary alcohol group this is the carbon 6 this is the primary alcohol group it undergoes the process of oxidation and it results into an acid so these are all about sugar acids sugar acids are those molecules which can be formed by the oxidation of carbon 1 or carbon 6 in monosaccharides next one is the most important one this is glycosides glycosides is any molecule in which a sugar group which is known as glycon is bonded through its anomeric carbon, which is generally a carbon one in aldehyde group and carbon two in ketone group to another group, which is, which is a non-sugar entity or group, which is known as a glycon with the help of a glycosidic bond. So glycosides are those compounds or those molecules, this is glycosides, which can be obtained by the when sugar and non-sugar molecule combine with the help of glycosidic bond. So it results into a glycosides. So you can see here, this is a glycosides. This is a sugar and a non-sugar molecule combined with the help of a bond known as glycosidic bond. You can see in figure one, this is a cardiac glycoside. An important example is given and you can see here it has two parts. This is part one and this is part two. This is a sugar part known as glycon part and this is a non-sugar part, a glycon part. And you can see the sugar, this is carbon one. So this is the anomeric carbon, carbon one. So the bond between carbon one and the non-sugar compound occur and this bond is known as glycosidic bond. So this is a typical example of a glycoside. Glycosides occur in plants often as a flower and fruit figments. So the figments, pounds and flower and fruits are often glycosides. The sugar most commonly found in glycoside is glucose. So glucose is the most common sugar found in glycoside, but they also contain galactose, mannose, and remnose, etc. So other sugars can also be found, but the main sugar which is found in, gluc uh, in glycoside is glucose. Many glycosides function as herbivores, deterrents, because most of the glycosides are toxic in nature, so herbivores cannot eat it. So it is an important function of glycoside. Also, several antibiotics are glycosides. For example, the most common example is streptomycin. They are glycosidic in nature. There are many glycosides which occur in nature, but the most important one are 
these the following three. The first one is saponins. Saponins is, pre in pre is present in plants and the property of saponin is that it lower the surface tension of water and that means that it form a soapy leather with water so it can act as a cleansing agent are also known as detergent so this is the most important one saponin and it act as a cleansing agent the next one is the important one is the cardiac glycoside also known as cardinolides cardiac glycosides for example the most important example is digitoxine which is present in the species of digitalis digitalis is also known as fox blues so this is the most important example of uh, glycosides the third one is cyanogenic glycosides cyanogenic glycosides are the natural uh, glycosides found in plants and they are the natural source of hydrogen cyanides so these three are the most important examples of glycosides so this is all about different types of sugar acid alcohols amino groups and um, glycosides thank you for watching